Hello, folks. Just looking at these statistics here, it's quite worrying, actually. This is the second video in the series that I've made about living in condominiums here in Thailand. Um, this one, I want you to ser seriously consider the aspects of living in a condominium. And if you're thinking about it, are you thinking about renting or buying a condominium here and living in, in somewhere in Thailand, whether it be here in Pati or somewhere else, then please, please, please pay attention to what I'm saying now and consider consider it seriously before you go into this. The um, suicides amongst condo uh, dwellers here in Thailand are very, very common. Weekly, I would say, um, and several a week, as you, as you can see here, they, they're happening. Why are they happening? Well, I think you need to take the, the nature of the people that are or consider the nature of the people that are actually living in these condominiums. You know, have they got any experience of living in condominiums? What sort of nature have they got? Are they worldly wise? Are they, are they experienced? Can they actually live thousands of miles away from their home country? And sometimes and more often living alone. Do they have uh, the have they fully considered how they're going to live in Italy? And do do they uh, do they have enough money? Do they have the right attitude? There's all these aspects that really um, we need to look into. Uh, the people that are planning to come here really need to think about. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to give you some serious uh, considerations to make. I'm not going to judge one way or the other because it, what you do is your decision. But just let me explain and think about it carefully before you make that jump, literally. Amazing Thailand. That. Yes, it's amazing. And many nationalities like to come here from USA, Europe, South Africa, Australia, New Zealand, Russia. Many, many nations would like to come here for holidays or to settle down, honeymoons. All of these things are very popular in this wonderful, wonderful country of Thailand. Many people also think that living here is absolutely wonderful if they have a condominium and it's got all the facilities and nice views, etc., and probably is the answer to everything they want. Is it? Well, let's just look at that. So, how and when does this wonderful life in amazing Thailand go wrong? At this time, I am not sure that I know anyone who have, who's actually jumped from their condo. But I have seen many, many people here in dire straits, totally stressed and deeply depressed. I have heard people downtown in the bars saying that they are in trouble and want a way out to end it all. It is already well documented that living in small spaces like condos and apartments can lead in some circumstances to various mental disorders, including acute depression. Unfortunately, living alone or with someone who is not trained to recognize these problems accentuates the problem. However, no matter how the stress and depression starts, I believe the resultant actions are a result of one or more of the following. Financial. There are low on or have run out totally of money. Obviously this affects many people and not only condo dwellers. However, the difference is that those living in condos may be totally isolated from the community. With no friends and no, nobody to discuss matters with. Maybe no one to talk to at all or to share their concerns. Medical is another big factor. I have witnessed people here who, despite having good medical insurance, may have been suffering from a previous medical complaint. That is, they are not covered and they cannot afford the medical bill themselves. Relationship breakdowns. Many here have begun relationships with partners younger than themselves. When finances get low, their partners move on. There are also other factors that result in a parting of the way with their partners. 
I have a very good friend here who recently lost his partner of six years when she died from a stroke. I am very much aware that he is suffering badly just now and wondering where exactly his future lies. I think I will have to keep my eye with on him and help him through this in the, in the near future. So, we should maybe take a closer look at some of the root causes that lead to these disastrous ends. So, when things do go wrong, typically, ill health, Ill health and medical emergencies. Many elderly expats have no medical insurance. Getting older brings problems as we know. But the premiums for insurance are very high and often the amount uh, covered leaves a huge personal liability in the event of any medical claim. So that can be in excess of 300,000 Thai baht, which is a lot of money also. Years ago I had a friend who here and retired also had no medical insurance and he was convinced that if he had a serious medical condition he would terminate himself and he was absolutely serious talking about just walking into the sea and drowning himself. The problem was he suffered a major heart attack sitting in his car and could do nothing. He was admitted to hospital here and the medical costs eventually exceeded 4 million baht, um, Thai baht. That's close to GBP, Great British Pound, about 100,000, so big money. This amount was eventually paid by his family members, a couple of sisters in the UK who raised the money to pay for it against the property they owned. I just wonder how many, other than me, are here without adequate insurance. I bet there's quite a few. Another problem living here in Thailand, particularly a city like Sin City Pattaya here, is living a very poor lifestyle. Maybe they don't like Thai food too much, that's quite common, but also joining in the partying. Uh, this city can run 24 hours a day with various places to go and various places to go drinking if that's what you let yourself get into. Poor lifestyle, malnutrition, and lack of exercise compounded with other factors like too much alcohol um, and unfortunately some people do get into drugs etc all of which drags you down and can make living a, a healthy life a real well, problem. There we go people. Some of the concerns I would like you to consider seriously if you're going to be if you're contemplating renting or buying a condominium. Just as a caveat here, I'm sure there are many, many people who quite happily live in the condominiums and have no problems like the ones I've described. Uh, and yes, I understand that it can be a very nice aspect of living here in Thailand. Also, many will be thinking that all the aspects I'm mentioning here can apply to anyone, no matter where they live. Yes, that's true. But statistically, it seems to affect condo dwellers to a higher degree. Coming to places like Pattaya gives visitors a chance to enjoy the benefits of a holiday in Thailand. Over the last few years, and particularly during the COVID shutdowns, much has been done to transform Pattaya into an all-round tourist attraction. Yes, the, the girly bars, etc. still exist along with the party atmosphere, but the tourist culture has fully developed now to entice the full spectrum of tourists to the city, including families, etc. I think many who do settle here or retire here may still want to follow the party lifestyle, and this can be tremendously expensive and in many ways not really a realistic long-term lifestyle. Just to wind it up, there is another area of concern that will be the subject of a future video. And yes, this is the, the foreigners here. We meet partners from some of the far off remote areas of Thailand and then decide to build, buy or rent property in these remote locations and settle down there. Well, there are also some serious considerations to this that may be the future of a that may be the subject of a future video, as I've already said. Thank you for watching.